Two ma massive fires at the very same scrapyard just over a year apart. Now, the first time Channel 9 discovered dozens of safety violations after that fire. Now, Channel 9's Anthony Castora is going through the latest inspection looking for any new problems. We know the fire started right back there in that pile of debris about 430 this morning. After a fire at the same location last year, first responders called more than 20 different departments to help them this morning. We dug through the inspection records to figure out if this had anything to do with the lack of safety. You can see the fireball rip through the Holmes Iron and Metal Scrapyard in East Spencer Monday morning. The fire department was actually here. They was already on site and already putting water on the fire. Co-owner Dwayne Holmes rushed to the property and immediately hopped on an excavator to start clearing debris to help first responders as they used hoses and cranes. He and the firefighters had been through this once before. The fire a year ago was a lot bigger compared to this fire. We were able to get here quickly and actually get ahead of the fire com compared to last year. It took 100 firefighters 15 hours to contain the flames at the scrapyard when a junk car caught fire in July 2018. Crews used about 15 tankers of water and it was barely enough. This time around, the chief called on the help of several departments as he feared a repeat scenario. If it was a lot, a lot more fire, then we'll need a lot more water. At the time, we uncovered dozens of fire safety violations. We didn't find any violations in their most recent inspection back in April. The owners say that's because they purchased new equipment and created new protocols. Now they're focused on one thing. Clean up what we got here to what we can Open up, for, open up for the day. The fire marshal will now do a walkthrough with the owners to determine if there's anything they can do to prevent fires from happening in the future. Back to you. Investigators never did figure out what caused the fire last year, and the chief says they don't think they're going to find a cause in this one either because there are just too many factors, too much stuff in there to narrow it down to one cause.